So settle back down and relax. Just let go of everything that you might have been thinking about just a few minutes ago. Take a deep breath in and then release. And as you exhale, you feel yourself relax even more. And as you relax, feel your face relax, and your eyes, in your mouth, and all the little muscles in your face. Relax. Feel your neck and your shoulders relax. And feel that relaxation flow down your arms and your forearms, all the way down to your hands and the tips of your fingers. If you need to adjust your position at all, you can do that at any time. Do whatever you need to do to help yourself feel more and more relaxed. Start to feel your torso relaxed and your back. Relaxation flowing all the way down your body, down to your legs, your lower legs, your feet, down to the tips of your toes. Feel yourself relax more and more with each breath. And now that you're feeling relaxed, you sense a column of white light appear above your head. And you feel it start to flow down into your body, down your spinal column, all the way down your legs to the tips of your toes, filling up your body with this bright white light. You feel your feet filling up with light, your legs, your torso, all the way up to your shoulders where it flows down into your arms, filling your arms and your hands and your fingers with light, and then up your neck and into your head until your entire body is filled with this bright white light. And you feel this white light burst out of your chest, out into the world, forming a bubble around you, a bubble that protects you and relaxes you and helps you get even more in touch with your higher self, just that part of you that knows what's best for you in your journey in this world. What we're going to do now is we're going to imagine that you have already achieved this goal of having a successful, sustainable business with a steady stream of clients. We're going to take a trip to the future and see what that looks like, sounds like, and feels like. This will help you get even more clarity on your vision for your ideal business. So let's start out by looking at the visual. What do you see yourself doing in this ideal business of yours? How do you see yourself starting your day? What time do you get up? What does your morning ritual look like? What time do you start working? What does your day look like? Are you working from home? Do you have the same office as you have now or do you have a different office? 
What does your workspace look like? Are you alone? Or there are other people there? What do you see? Are you working with clients? What does this look like? Envision yourself with one of your ideal clients and see how you're working with them. Are you writing, creating art, or content for your business? Envision yourself doing whatever it is that you'll be doing once you've achieved this goal of your ideal business. What are all the different things you're doing in a typical day? What does your lifestyle look like? What else are you doing in your life when you're not working directly on your business? What do you see yourself doing when you're not in the office or not with clients? Where do you see yourself living? What country are you in? What town? What does your home look like? Or maybe you have a more nomadic lifestyle and you're traveling around the world to different countries, living in different places. And when you go on holiday, where do you go on vacation? What do you do there? How often do you plan vacation time? Is it quarterly? Monthly? How often do you set aside time away from your business? Well, let's take a look at your bank account. You can either look at your bank statement, a printed statement, or you can access your account on your computer. Now that you've got this ideal business, how much money is in your account? What do you see when you look at your bank statement now that you've got this ideal business? And how much do you have in savings? What other investments do you have? Now, is there anything else that you need to look at so that you have a clear vision of what your life looks like now that you've got your successful, sustainable business? Take a few seconds to just look at that before we move on. Now we're going to move on to the auditory. What do you hear now that you've got this successful business? What will you be saying to yourself? You could be saying, wow, I'm really proud of myself. I can't believe that I did this. I'm so happy. What are you saying to yourself now that you've got this business of your dreams? What do you hear other people saying about you? It could be, wow, she's amazing. I can't believe what she's done with her business. I can't believe how fast she's grown her business. It could be something else. What do you hear people saying about you now that you've got this business of your dreams? Now, what else do you hear in your life? Now that you've got this ideal business, what's going on in the background as you live your day? Do you hear birds, animals? Is there music playing? What else do you hear? Now we're going to move on to kinesthetic. How do you feel? 
So now that you've got this successful, sustainable business that you've been dreaming of, how are you feeling? Are you feeling free, satisfied, proud of yourself, excited about the future? Think about all the different things that you are feeling now that you've got this dream business. And then just pick out one, the most exciting one, the strongest one, most important feeling. Pick whichever one seems most important to you. Or the one that stands out. Really get in touch with that feeling now and dial up the intensity. Have you ever felt this feeling before at any time in your life? Really get in touch with that feeling and think about where in your body do you feel it the most? Now if that feeling had a color, what color is it? Just go with whatever comes to mind first. It doesn't need to make sense. And if the feeling has a shape, what shape is it? If that feeling has a temperature, what temperature is it? If the feeling has a texture, how does it feel when you touch it? Sit with that feeling for a few more seconds. Really enjoy it. Relish this sensation. There's so many reasons for us wanting to create the business of our dreams. Be our ideal clients who we want to help, the lifestyle we want to create, charities that we want to support, and then there's how we want to feel. So much of what we do is an attempt to create a situation where we will feel a certain way. That's why it's so important for your ideal business vision to also include how you want to feel once you've achieved this goal. Now, if there's anything else you need to go back to to round out that vision, and go back to what you might be sing seeing, hearing, feeling. Really make that vision as big as you can. Now is the time to include things that are just for you. You don't need to tell anyone about this. What are all the things about your ideal business vision that maybe scare you? That are so big they feel impossible? Things that you'd never tell anyone else? Now is the time to get in touch with those details. Add those to your ideal business vision. So if you're ready, just come back to the present moment. You can stretch your arms, your neck, your back, your hands, your toes, feet. Wiggle your toes. And then when you're ready, you can open your eyes. Now, I hope that you found this useful. I find it really, really useful to get really clear on all of these different aspects of my vision, not just the visual part of it. So you can repeat this journey as often as you like. You might want to repeat it on a quarterly basis so that you can get clarity on how your vision has grown and changed over the previous months. Because you know, as we grow, our vision for our business changes. And it's important for us to understand exactly how our ideal business vision changes over time so we can adjust our goals and our strategy and our business plan accordingly. So I hope you found this useful. 